Welcome back, this is episode number 8. Uh, the first thing I can see is that another one of those shuttles has cancelled and it looks like it was going from Earth to St Lincoln, which is no longer needed. St Lincoln's already up to 70. Uh, so we'll send it across instead to the new colony, Pura. Um, and up here we've got 11 transports there and 12 here. Uh, I wonder if I can move those transports across. Yes. Anyway, uh, that's enough about that. Let's keep going. Uh, what's going on over here? The Klogu are still hanging around. It's no big deal. Uh, nothing to say to the Kaka. Other transports arrive. Now I won't be able to send this one, as I understand it. Oh, that's made a liar of me. So I don't understand how that's able to, to make that. It must only check the final destination square. Okay, so they're done. Two empty transports arrived at Mito. Uh, let's get them up there as well. Light industry's done. Uh, now, I want to build some defences here as soon as possible. What do I need to do that? Uh, it's not actually going to tell me in this interface, which is not very handy. But we can look it up by going to the tech tree. Into shields. What do we need to build these? A tech complex. That's quite high tech. Fair enough. We'll go straight up to tech complex then. And Mito still needs we still need to ship more people off Mito. Um, ah, the flare just stopped movement there, that's all pretty standard. Um, yep. Some more transports at Augusta, let's get them up to Mito. And the terraform is done. Okay, that's good. Keep going up in uh, up in size there because the the main issue is uh, the happiness. Uh, but that's getting up there now. But still, um, a irradiated planet has no growth rate, and uh, so all of the growth rate on Los Vada will be coming from uh, these two structures, uh, these two types of structures. So yeah. And once the terraform is done, I will get some uh, interceptor missiles in production, so we can get the defences up to scratch there. Uh, so the idea behind those defences is simply to um, slow any sort of advance or prevent light raiding. Uh, it wouldn't stop a full, fully fledged fleet. I acknowledge that, but. Uh, it would, it would perhaps attrition a fleet down if they were to attack multiple colonies in a row sort of thing. So that's why I've sort of judged six to be a reasonable number. Uh, no, I don't think we need to worry about an attack from the Jolutians. Uh, Infector has arrived at Los Vada. Okay, great. Let's send that across to the Karkush. Um, that will leave Los Vada without defences, except for light missiles, but yeah, whatever. Not too worried. And up to the tech complex. Now we're going up here. Uh, now we might be able to get there in one turn, maybe. Yeah, cool. So next turn we'll find another star, and I'm wonder if it will actually have anything useful. Kind of finding this a bit frustrating so far, but anyway. Um, let's keep going. Here, uh, nothing. No. 
Storm damage or loss of armor. Arc ship has arrived. Come on! Poor. I can't believe this. So rough. Alright, but it is. Um, it is habitability 8. So that's. Mm, I probably will colonize that one, I think. Um, gee, that's rough as. If there's nothing better up here, I'll colonize that one. Uh, it's arc ship, auto ship, transport looks good. Um, is the taxes high? Yeah. See, at the moment we're just growing faster than we can. Oops. Growing faster than we can ship people off worlds. Entertainment Center at Maito. Okay. So that should keep its happiness acceptable for a little while. I think the taxes, the past high taxes kicks in, that'll, yeah, get back up to minus five. But oh well. Um, that's fine. Edinburgh. Is there anything I want to do at Edinburgh? Maybe more research. That's about it. You know, I think I will stop worrying about Eden, keeping Edinburgh to 33. Um, I probably could have done this a long time ago by the looks of it, but that's just the learning experience for this scenario. So, yeah, I'll start to build some more research facilities now. Um, and we've got the attack on the car car now, so. What have we got? Seven militia. I think we can auto resolve that one. And we can do a Devastate or a Contaminate. So Devastate does 9.2% population damage. And Contaminate, we yeah. have. We'll do a Devastate while we can. Anytime we can. Okay, they've arrived, they've arrived, and they've arrived. Okay, Battle Victory, that's fine. What's going on at Augusta? Is it producing ships? More! More ships. And Kaikushi again, another militia has popped up, so auto resolve. We can devastate again. Obviously, there weren't enough ships in orbit to uh, completely bombard this away, so that's fine. And right, so we've arrived at another new planet here. What is it? Come on. Yes, finally! A non poor system. Excellent. And it was what was it? A habitability A. Wow, that's a great system. Okay, uh this one will be um Orleans. And we'll get it producing another colony workshop because we're going to be doing that rapid expansion process again. So here everything comes. Oops. Um, and I'll keep sending on uh, those guys. And there's some already some transport sunload. Five people, yay! Okay, can I send the transports all the way home? No, I won't be able to. Will I? Oh. Yeah, that's really strange. <laughs> maybe it can't fly uh, from... Maybe it has to have a source or destination in a supplied area. Still trying to figure this out. I thought it would be easier than this. In any case, I can send them down to... Let's say here. Let's say here. Hmm. We want just the transports. And these guys. 
have to wait. Hover tank at Augusta. Augusta has nine hover tanks in standby, so that's fine. Um, thinking about recycling a weapons lab to build another orbital shipyard, but I won't. I won't go that far. Actually, we'll just wait now. Uh, so that can probably stop doing new things. Biolab. Terraformer. Tech complex at Payera. Okay, so now we can build the missiles. Yes. Good. Uh, any idle ships? Three transports there at Augusta on 73. Um, okay. Take another three people from Augusta. Ah, now I shouldn't be shipping them up there anymore. I should be shipping them to Pura. Okay. How, what's going on in the technology screen? Something did pop up there, I think, and I missed it. New dust navigation. Okay, good. Um, so, now we have... Let's have a look in the proper full list so we can work out where we're up to. Long-range communication increases the distance ships can move, followed by uh, infinite range. This one is colony stealth. Yeah. Um, Special forces, mm, probably don't need those for now. There's not really much here I need. I think long range communications will be the last tech that we go for here. So, long range communications. Um, everything else looks fine. That's fine. Auto resolve the Karkwish again. And now we can do contaminate. So it automatically selects Xenoplague. If we have multiple different types of bio attack available, it'll give us the option of selecting which one to do. You can see the little cool animation. And ignore that one. So what happens there is a little icon comes up in the um, planet screen showing what percentage of the population is infected. Uh, and it will kill off that population um, according to the characteristics of the particular uh, bio attack. Uh, so how many population are left will determine how many new people are infected and or uh, how many people die and so we will shrink the population down to a certain extent, but eventually it will cure itself. Um, and you can improve that with the decontamination center uh, and resistance technologies. Three transports at Mito. Oops. I'm still sending them up to the wrong place. Old habits. And... Nothing much else. I want to get... Oh, there's only one transport there. Okay. I don't know why I could send that one. How strange. I guess if it's out of transport range, it will happily fly into transport range. That must be part of its system. Yeah. Okay, and one more turn for Proxima Centauri. Fiora, Kakush, choose action. And we'll go for another contaminate. That is unacceptable. No, not interested in that office. Cryo can want map information. Well, the thing is, it's massively in their favour to do that, so I could actually extort quite a lot of money from them. 
Probably. Let's try 2,000. Oops, not we give, they give. Eight thousand. I'm not actually sure I want to give them map information. Um, apparently, we have the technology lead on them that's massive, even though we've been doing no tech trading. Nah. Uh, whoops. I should cancel the that. Okay, Proxima Centauri is icy poor. Wow, rough. Okay, um, do we want to con colonize this one? Mm, tricky. It is high habitability. I don't like whole systems though. No, nah, I won't. I'll say no. Alright, so now we'll just bring the uh, Mother Ark back down this way. Create a supply base in the middle of those two places so we can fly the transports through. Uh, now where are we at? Earth. It probably needs to get rid of some people. Oops. And it looks like some of the factories have stopped producing. So I'll put two more in each. And I think uh, we'll have a new technology for dreadnoughts coming up soon. Um, so that's that done. Colonist workshop. Okay, cool. Now I have to wait a little bit for people to arrive. Uh, but I can do the light industries in the meantime. Um, now, how's Cockfish? It's getting more infected? Yeah, okay. So hopefully at some point either the colony becomes extinct or we're able to do an exterminate or something like that. In any case, I'm going to need to get the Mother Ark. Maybe this is being optimistic, but, <laughs> but I want to get the op Mother Ark across there, uh, ready to colonize. And automate. That's fine. I'll just keep doing container. They want peace. No surprise. That is unacceptable. Flow damage in Augusta. Transports are arriving. Why did that guy arrive there? Oh, okay, he's empty. Biolab. Yep, cool. Um, so I've got to wait one more turn before it unlocks a new facility slot there. Uh, that's fine. Happy to wait. Everything seems fine. Edenberg's just got the destroyers there. Lots of activity out here in the other worlds. The Jolutions. Beyond the Pirates, Krayokens, okay, oh, they'll be going to colonize an ice world, no doubt. Hmm. No. Oh. Um, yeah, so next turn, that Mother Ark should give us supply range to send this guy through. Should be good. What was that one? Poor 5, and that's a poor 8. Yep. Well, that was really disappointing. Out of all those stars, only one of them was worthy of colonization. An anticlimax. Um, well, at least we're starting to push into the Kaka territory now. Choose action, contaminate. Loaded transports have arrived. Bingo. Okay, good. And the industry's completed, so that's good. Um, now we will want a lab, and we will want uh, not much else really. Maybe a mine. 
Maybe I'll keep going up to heavy industry. More transports. 71, 71, 73, that'll be down soon. 71 even there. Okay. Um, send them up to Mito. Ah, the transports can come back to hmm, Edinburgh, I suppose. And these ones can probably move on. Although well, Orleans is already at 30. Wow. I'll tell you what, with those nine, we'll actually head across to Karkush. Or maybe just Los Vada. No. We'll send them to Kokrish. Hopefully we can colonise it. Um, that one transport can go, I suppose, whatever. It's a long way to go for just one colony, but that's fine. Okay. Uh, what's going on on the tech screen? Uh, dreadnoughts were done, I missed that. And it's gone on to missile cruisers. Alright, uh, let's have a look in shield tech. So, we can do cruisers, no uh, improved shields, uh, antimatter warheads, that's a good idea. Dreadnought 3, uh, missile cruisers. Yeah. Um, what about shields? Improved technology increases energy absorbing power and defense strength of all shields by 20%. Fast shield regen, improved shields. Oh look, those shield techs looked pretty quick. 11 turns, I might just throw that in there. And the other ones are okay for now. 7 turns to nano construction complex, that's going to mean a lot of extra happiness across the empire, which is great. Um, yep, we're all good. And auto resolve. And still can't exterminate, but the population's down to 44, so we'll keep contaminating. Transports at Earth, okay. Now. I suppose we'll keep shipping to Payera. Interceptor missiles. Is anything? I might just do a check in with the fleets and see that things aren't out of hand waiting for stuff. Four empty transports waiting there. Yep, I did forget about them. Uh, move those to Mito. Um, the rest are moving, so that's fine. Choose action, contaminate. So, some transports have finally arrived. Unlocking a new facility slot. Yay! Okay, so we'll go into... Um, Happiness structures. Now, the difference between these two is that the weather controller takes three turns, whereas the incubator takes six. So, I'll go with the incubator, the um, weather controller in this case. Get those happiness and uh, growth structures up and running faster. Might send some transports back to St. Lincoln because that place is getting up there. The Ark ship has arrived. Um, Okay, there's nowhere urgent for it to go, so I'm just going to leave it there until these transports have finished their um, flying around out there. Uh, Cockreach, transports, good. What's going on here? Pirate base, the pirate sabers, yep, fine. Oh. 
Oh, actually, I think that might be too much from Augusta. Oh no, Augusta can go down. That's fine. Hmm. Interceptor missile um, transports. Now, the thing that happened with the transports is we're now ready to build Dreadnought 2s. If I can find them. So that's great news. Uh, Interceptor Los Vada. Okay, good. Now it's got its uh, missiles. I can get rid of the other ones. The thing, the reason to do this is just to save a bit of maintenance. Um, it's more of an exercise in this case, though, because we've got so much money. <laughs> uh, okay, so research labs. Let's get three research labs in the queue. Research labs at Orleans is done. Uh, it can go and build. Let's get more weapons research done. It was 108 or something turns for the uh, weapons to complete. Um, so yeah, that's my reasoning behind that one. Um, now will I go for another heavy industry? Yeah, I think I will. I've got plenty of people here. And that's all happy. How are we doing? We're down to 34. It's pretty slow going. We might get some uh, better biotech for future expansion possibilities, just to speed things up. Transports at Mito. So I'm moving a lot of population over to Piura now. Um, it's quite a long way from the core part of my empire, and if I settle any of these other planets around here, I'll actually just redistribute from... Um, Poyura, I guess, or maybe Los Vada is a more sensible place to move them to. Um, but we'll see what else is out there. Um, okay, so nothing's above 75, so that would be a concern. And everywhere is getting up to 33 or above, which is, yeah, what the, what the trick is at this point. Keep them between 33 and 75. Um, how am I doing on the tech screen? I, I've really got to keep a better eye on the tech situation. Okay, so two turns for the next technology. Just auto resolve. And down to 29 with 17% infection. Yeah, so it's building up. They want to get you to a tech trade. We don't have any reason to do that. War declared. The TI's flock has declared war on the Hunyun. Um, Hunyun declared war on LinkedIn. Uh, LinkedIn. <laughs> LinkedIn. Um, Battle Victory Research Lab. Heavy Industry. Okay, Heavy Industry is done. Let's do some happiness structures. And keep going. Transaction, how are we doing here? 18%, yeah, so now we're probably getting to the point where it's killing off every new person that it infects. So it might be getting uh, harder to, to make more progress at this point, but we'll see how it goes. All lens is done. Let's go to uh, probably Edinburgh. Nano construction complex is done. Awesome. All right, let's get some better um, biological agents. So Agent Grey, uh, Agent White, uh, Plague Winger. That's just a faster ship. Giant Spore is a one-use ship. Uh, I could do Smart Plague, more virulent form of Xenoplague. Um, 
I think Agent Grey will be in order because it's it's going to be a quick, pretty fast tech. And yeah, that'll do for now. Um, Agent Grey, six turns. Good. Weather controller can be upgraded. And research lab here. Uh, let's get one of them going on a tech complex. And then I'll do a quick run around and upgrade all of the existing um, facilities. Now, interestingly, the upkeep's the same for tech complex and nano construction complex. Uh, I wasn't quite sure whether that was the case or not, but that's fine. So, nano construction complex. That's busy there, and I think that was the last one, wasn't it? Yep. Good. Okay, what's waiting there at all ends? Transport, but he's on his way back. So... Hmm. All good. A few more turns for Kakush. Hopefully we can get it to actually let us exterminate or something. That's fine. Augusta's gone unhappy. Why? Because... Oh, we did go below the critical population. I marked up there. Um, but it needs one more population. So yeah, you can see here it's crossed out uh, one of the facilities because there aren't enough people to operate that many facilities. What you can do to get around that is um, click on click on the structures you want to enable and it will seem to randomly pick another one. So I'll keep clicking on it until it goes to one of the labs. Those labs aren't hugely uh, critical, time critical anyway. We can just wait another turn, whereas the happiness uh, and the production is what we really care about at Augusta. So that's fine. Contaminate. How are we doing? 17. Yeah, the contamination percentage is falling down, but it's still killing people. Transports are arriving. Good. Uh, let's take them to... Let's go to Earth. Those guys. Treadnoughts are coming off the line. Weather control. Um, that's definitely going to be out of range of the trade network all the way up here. Uh, so probably Terraformer will be next. And what is the next tech that's going to finish? Four turns for shields and four turns for new plagues. Okay. Um, yeah, just keep going. Contaminate. Tech complex is done. I'll go straight for nano complex there. Get rid of the pollution. Um, we're up to 40 people here at Orleans, so you can see how quickly the population zooms up. All good. Um, auto resolve. Down to 13. We will listen to you. Mito. I might just ship some guys to Los Vada. Oh no, 49. It's already up there as well. Yeah, no point. And a complex at Earth. Hooray! So now Earth's going to be happier again. Even Okay, so now we've got high taxes, the best mine, maximum output at Earth, and it's um, it's stabilised at minus two popularity, so it's perfectly, 
perfectly optimized. Nothing else to do here at Earth. So that's done. Probably the same at Augusta. And it's grown its extra population, has all the facilities running now. That's fine. Hedenberg. Hedenberg can build another biolab. Mito is going to be perfectly happy now as well with the even with the past high taxes, that's good. St. Lincoln can probably upgrade its mine at this point. Why aren't you quite as happy as the other places? What am I missing here? St. Lincoln was a habitability 5. Corazon, high taxes. It can survive building the coal mine, it'll just be on minus four. That's fine. Still can't exterminate. It's down to 12. It's not getting much lower. Transports arrived at Karkwish. Empty transports at St. Lincoln. Let's take those guys across. Yeah, it's still got all the free facility slots it needs. Agent Gray is done. Okay, good. Uh, now, the next thing for there is probably the Xeno Plague. Yeah, let's do the Xeno Plague. Um, That's fine. Now it's above 75 sort of thing, so that's all good. And the transport's made it out safely now, so I can bring the other mark ship, uh, other mother ship down. Mother Ark. Getting ready to do some more colonization. Let's bring it down to Los Varda. Eleven. Now it's giving us the choice of both. Shields are done. Now what's next in the, the defense discipline? Well, uh, we've got fast shield regen. That's pretty cool. So is light antimatter warheads. Let's go for warheads. Uh, which one's that? That one. 20 turns. Another biolab. Small terraform is done. Okay. And the only other thing I can build with the heavy industry that's worthwhile is another research lab. Everything else has to be built at the tech complex now. So we'll get that up to the weapons research center. Global weather. Stuck on 11 with a tiny, any tiny percentage now. So, okay. ships have arrived at Edinburgh. Okay, so Edinburgh can afford to lose seven people, eight people. people from Earth as well. More dreadnoughts are done. Nano complex at Los Varda. Right. Looks like we're doing weapons research here. Thirteen with a lot of ships coming in. And population's gonna jump up. Should be good. Hopefully we can exterminate or something. 
here yeah, soon. That'll be also good. I just do want to check what was the effect of Agent Grey? Was it actually a biological agent, or did it do something different? Self-replicating nanomachines attack almost any inanimate substance and break down into gravity gear. Once they infect a planet, they will gradually destroy all the facilities and defenses. Ah. Okay, so so actually what I want to do to reduce population is get a more virulent form of the smart plague. Uh, or xenoplague. Uh, because that's the one that it infects the, and kills the population. So... Yeah, good thing we're working on Smart Plague. It's got a little bit of infection. Lots of transports have arrived. They can go back to Edinburgh. Nano complex. Let's get the um, growth and happiness structures in. And another weapons. I'm wondering if there's going to be a threshold of like 10 population or something that suddenly allows us to do an exterminate. We're stuck on 11 though. <laughs> maybe, maybe soon we'll be able to deal with it. Dreadnought 2 is done. Biolab. Okay, so now Edinburgh. Uh, needs another facility slot in order to do another research lab. No urgency there. Is there anywhere else I could be settling in the meantime? There are possibly some stars up there. That's a dead planet with uh, no... It's not poor, so it's probably worth colonising. Um... Yeah, I just want to take the Cock Islands, really. Get that sorted. Um, automate. Still stuck on 11, yeah. It's really annoying. Transports to Earth. Okay, so in general, uh, we want to keep it above 63, 63 population, in most cases is enough to uh, man all the facilities. Coal mine, it's in Lincoln, good stuff. This is another one where we're above, uh, this has less um, extra mines facilities, so yeah, it's all good. It's all good. A few more turns. Some new tech. Ah, oh, the population's actually growing now. Get those labs out and then I'll recycle the uh, heavy industry there. How's our income looking? 4,000 a turn now. And we've got a reasonable sized fleet coming out. The dreadnoughts take a long time to build. Six turns, I think it is. Five turns, yeah. So that's all good. Can 
and take four more people from Edinburgh. Not much going on at the moment. It's pretty quiet. Maybe get those guys to there. Two more turns for the Smart Plague. on Augusta. That's novel. Uh, what was Earth at? 70. It can lose. Yeah, 7. Oh, I only had 6 there. <laughs> That's fine. Transports have arrived. Let's send those back to Earth. Bio incubator's done, so that can go up to the small incubator. And I'll do a research lab next. I could. No, I won't. I'll do Terraformer next. Global weather control is done. Okay, uh, I don't need to worry about those labs. The other thing can build that, but I do have nothing else to build, so I might as well. Do a weapons research lab. Yeah, that's cool. Um, and all lens is already up to 53, so yeah, it's booming along. Oh, Devastate is back in play. Cool. 25% of the population. Ooh, we're under 10 now. Uh, ignore. New technology's done, Smart Plague. Hooray! Okay, now I want to make it even more uh, virulent if I can. Is there another option? Sin. I guess that's an entirely new kind of um, attack, unlike uh, like Agent White, Agent Grey, and, um, and the basic plague. So I think I've made that as strong as I can. I can only make ships now and start working on anti-plagues or maybe nanites. No, there's nothing there. But I can work towards Gaia, which is uh, a huge happiness boost across the Empire. So let me get Agent White. And Orleans. Orleans can do a weapon slab. And I'll just do one more turn to check if we can colonize uh, or, or squash Quarkwish. No, we can't still. Damn. That's really annoying. Okay, so contaminate. Now we'll just check in on them to see how it's going. Smart Plague there, 2.7%. So uh, maybe... Okay, another option is I could actually take over the colony and ship those population off and abandon the colony. So that might be the go, I think. I might move those transports to there. Weapons lab's done. So nothing else I want to build here on Oswada. My mine, I guess. I can build a mine. 
Yeah. Okay, so I guess we'll have to wait until the next episode to deal with the uh, Quarkish homeworld. Um, so there's a few different ways we'll do it. We'll either be able to use the new plagues to get the population down and exterminate it, or we'll take over the planet and lift the uh, population off the world and abandon it that way. So there is an end in sight, and it's going to only get faster for the uh, Quarkish. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying this, and stay tuned for episode number nine.